three things. Three things that what? Three things. Three things people get fired for. How to keep your job. <sighs> number one. I think the number one flag for me as if I was in any sort of leadership position. If I give someone critical feedback in just sort of a direct way, not a mean way, and they, instead of addressing it or being honest about it or really anything, they just go antisocial. They just ball up. You don't hear for, from them for days. You have no idea if they're trying to correct it. You have no idea what's going on. You don't want that person back. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of reasons why, but I think the main reason is you just have no idea what what's going on. There's just a lack of communication. For all you know, they could show up one day with, with a gun and shoot everybody, and it's because you gave them feedback, which is fucking stupid. So what's the proper way to do it? Well, you address it. That's it. You say, okay. You see it from, from as many perspectives as you can, and, and you try to improve. That's it. Everybody needs feedback. Everybody needs to be told they're doing something wrong every once in a while. It's just sort of a, a fact of growing. If nobody ever tells you you're doing something the wrong way, you're going to keep doing it the wrong way. You're just going to keep messing things up, and it's not good for anybody, especially at a company that's trying to advance. So I think that's the number one thing. Uh, the number one reason why people would get fired is just basically turning to antisocial. It's it's pretty it's a pretty foolish thing to do. Number two, I guess this sort of is like number one, but it's not number one. It's number two, not trying. Now, I'm not sure how anyone would get hired to begin with with if they're not trying but there are some jobs where they just kind of need someone anyone so they just accept whoever applies and interviews decently they say all right come aboard we'll give you a chance and then when that person shows up they're running late all the time uh, they don't really have uh, the type of mind that can figure out things on their own they need constant direction or they're just not doing anything at all and when you do give them direction they they're they're all pissy about it it's like, what? Well, why are you even here? Go go do something that makes you happy. So I think that's the number two thing that gets people fired is they're just not trying. Number three. Now, as I'm sitting here thinking of these, there are a lot more than three things that would get people fired. But a big number three for me is if someone comes, comes in unprepared all the time, like if they look very un, unkept, no pun intended, because I kind of look that way right now. <laughs> uh, but I just took a shower. That's kind of why. Anyway, uh, this isn't grease. It's water. It's water, guys. Calm down. Very unkept. Like, if someone comes in and they smell like ass every day, and it just annoys the crap out of everybody, and they're, they're obviously just you know, not really caring about the appearance of themselves or the company or anything, they have to go. They're just bringing everybody else down. So all, all three of these things, as you might notice, don't just affect the person who is who has the absolutely shitty behavior. They affect the entire workplace. They affect the company. And that's why it is management's best decision to can yo ass at that point. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. hope this helps somebody out there. I know these are really obvious, but uh, I think some people like don't know this stuff, oddly enough. So I thought I'd make a video. All right. Take it easy, guys. See you in the next one.